Hey guys, if you're curious as to why I chose this picture to represent the word prompt of precious, make sure to watch the whole video through. I got a little bit of a story time. Welcome back to Art Alec Heart. This video is a condensed update on the last couple of days of Inktober. So I'm going to be showing you some of the pictures that I created throughout the weekend. I was gone for a couple of days, so I wasn't able to upload videos. So I thought I would just put them all together and show you here. So this was the prompt of chicken. And that was a fun prompt to do. I was trying to figure out what to do, whether I wanted to actually go with like the emotion of being chicken or what. And then a memory came back of my childhood. I love chickens and chickens when I was a kid were like some of my best friends. So I had to do a picture of me with a chicken. And there is a story that goes along with this piece. In fact, I showed it to my mom and she immediately thought of it. So if you'd like to hear that story, let me know. And I might share it maybe in one of my Instagram stories or something like that. All right, so that was Friday. The next two days prompts were drooling and exhausted. I tell you, I did not look forward to drooling. I didn't want to create like a drooling monster or something like that. And I was also out of town. So I thought, what am I going to do? And so I decided to combine the two days into one picture, which isn't cheating because actually Jake Parker is geniusly combining every single prompt into one ginormous picture. If you haven't checked out Jake Parker's work that he did last year or this year, you need to follow him on Instagram because it's just fun to watch his picture unfold and get bigger and bigger and bigger. So for this one, I decided to do a cute little puppy that is drooling and then for exhausted his owner. And a couple of you guys asked me, is this kind of in relation to my fostering kittens and how I feel? And yes, yes, it is. I'm lacking the drooling part, but definitely the trying to figure out how to raise babies, animals is exhausting, but fun. So much fun. Also, for those of you who want an update on the kittenness and are not following me on Instagram, my first batch of foster kittens have gone on to the next step of getting their forever home. So they're getting fixed and getting ready to be adopted. And I have my second set of fosters. So I have two little girls and one little boy, and I'm hoping to be able to put them in a video upcoming soon. But if you can't wait, check out my Instagram for pictures and updates about them over there. Moving on to yesterday's prompt, which was star. I loved this prompt, this idea. I think the piece that I have in my mind is a little bit bigger than what I was actually able to put into, you know, a one day challenge. But that's also the fun of Inktober is to, you know, kind of get some ideas and maybe you might go back that idea that you were able to sketch out during Inktober and make a more fleshed out, uh, finished piece. Sometimes the pieces like on day number two come together really quickly and I love it and I feel that it's a finished piece. Other ones are a little bit more detailed or a little bit more thought needs to go into them that I'm given a one day time limit. So they kind of become, you know, more for the subject of something I might do in the future. So for Star, my idea was kind of this star fairy and her dress contains all the stars. And so as she walks along the night sky, the stars kind of twinkle out. And yeah, that was my idea. So today's prompt is the word precious. And I was trying to think of what to draw. I thought I'll draw a baby animal, but there was absolutely no way that I could choose one baby animal over another. And I thought about drawing a little kid because I think children are precious. But then I thought I wanted to create something that maybe if you look at it, you don't write quickly understand the, the meaning of it because there's a story behind it. And if you know me, I love stories. So the story behind this is this is a fairy and, and maybe you guys know the lore of fairy circles where you see a ring of mushrooms and if you stand in the mushroom, it takes you to the fairy kingdom. Well, in my mind of fairy lore, different there are different types of fairy circles and they do different things. They take you different places or different kinds of magic come. And this one here is a really rare, this is called a royalty circle and it's from this ring that the new fairy queen is born. And it only happens like once every thousand years or something like that. And if the fairy ring is destroyed, then there's no new queen. So this fairy is the guardian over the fairy ring until it fully develops. And so 
it's precious to her because it's it's where the new queen is going to come from. So that's that's my thought into my fairy lore. I love coming up with stories and all that. I also love seeing what you guys are doing for your Inktobers. If you'd like to share your Inktober drawings with me, make sure to tag me in your photos. I'd love to see them. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where you can see all of my daily work. So far, I have done all eight, nine days. This is nine, nine different drawings. We're a week, over a week into it. So yay, keep going strong, you guys. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so they don't miss out on any future videos. Keep drawing, keep working hard. And as always, God bless you guys. And we'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye.